Hey, good morning. This is Dan with Foots Ponds and Gardens, and we're here again bringing another project to you. So we're here on Gross Eel, Michigan. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, Gross Eel is actually an island. So we're going to be building an, uh, about a 10 by 15 pond with a cascading stream in the backyard of this home. And I'm really excited about doing it for a lot of reasons, but the energy level from the homeowner, we've been talking for at least a month about this project uh, with the homeowner and they are super excited to get this pond going. So I'll turn the camera around, I'll show you the, the environment that we're working on. This is a perfect fall day, the leaves are just starting to change, acorns are falling, squirrels are all over the place and I remember meeting these dogs the first time but when I go in that backyard they're really gonna um, give me a greeting. So let's meet the homeowners right now. Hey! How's it going? How are so you, you guys ready to get a new pond? We yeah, certainly are. We are. are so excited. We've been waiting forever, it seems like. This yeah. is Dennis and Anna, and this is your first pond? Our first pond. Yeah. All right, cool. We've been thinking about it for, for years and time. years, and a lot of our friends have them, and we've been waiting for the right time and the right Ooh. people to do it. That's yeah. right. so, but you were going to do this yourself. I was going to do this myself. And, and our Ooh. neighbor has done it a couple of times, and I've done a lot of research. I've looked. Uh, at the aquascape uh, websites and others and thought nope there's no way i'm going to do that that's just way too much we rather have somebody do it that's an expert it wasn't the quantity of boulders and the tonnage that scared you off oh yes it was <laughs> <laughs> i used to do landscaping and it's hard for me to admit but i'm not the guy i used to be we never we, you know what things change in our lives and you know what we just got to roll with it that's right. we got to know when to say when that's, that's right, right. What's the matter? What's the matter? Come here. Come here. What are you girls doing? Come here. What's the matter? All right, so what we've got is we've got a slight slope coming down to here. So from where the skimmer's at here versus where the pond's gonna be, we got an eight inch difference in elevation change. On this side of the pond here, we're going to add some topsoil that we dig out of the pond just a little bit so that way we have the same amount of boulders exposed on out of the water or above the water height. So this side is four inches higher than it is on this side. So what we want to do is we want to raise this grade up so that way it's level on this side as it is on this side. Not the entire grade of the whole backyard. Just a slight berm just tapering off just a little bit. So that way um, we have the same amount of boulders exposed out of the water as we do on this side. Now obviously the rest of the soil that comes out is going to go up on top to, so that way we can create our waterfall and streams. So those are just some of the site conditions that we have currently. You want to be aware of things like that before you just bring a machine in, start digging and throwing dirt everywhere. Um, we're going to scrape the uh, sod off first and then once we start digging, we're going to make sure that we save some for this side. And then the other thing we're going to do, I want to point this out to you, is because this is sloping down to this point here, so I've mentioned it before, we don't want water, storm water, coming down here, picking up fertilizers and dirt and any groundwater entering into the pond. So we'll do a slight berm that way as well. All right, so we got the pond excavated. 
We've got a boulder shelf over here so that way we can set our boulders for the waterfall coming in and we don't need um, to utilize all of our two foot boulders on this project. Brian's just marked out water lily shelf on this side. We've got another small shelf in front of our skimmer. That's a boulder shelf as well. Gives the pond a little bit of definition, but plus that way we don't have to take a two foot uh, size boulder to frame in our um, skimmer on this side. We've got our overflow. It's already run away from the pond. We've got our piping in. Our biofalls is way up there. Our streams need to be carved out. We've got a boulder delivery coming tomorrow. So we're going to take the rest of today um, to shape up a 10 to 15 foot long waterfall on this project. We've got electrical trenching already done. So what we do is uh, see that nice manicured trench. We use the geo ripper right here. I'll put a link in the uh, description of this uh, vlog. So that way if you guys want to check that out, it's a pretty cool machine, handheld. Go down to a depth of uh, 21 inches, I believe. So code when you're doing electrical, if you're gonna do it in conduit here in Michigan, we have to be 18 inches down. If we're doing direct burial, we need to be three foot down. Guess what we're doing, 18 inches. So that's gonna go back to the house here. Tony, the electrician, he's gonna come out next week, run all the wires. He's gonna tap into the house and then go right into the uh, circuit breaker. That way the homeowner's got that taken care of. So when you're doing a project like this, when a homeowner tells you they have no electrician, we have some people in mind that can do electrical for us. A lot of times what we do is um, we'll do the trenching and then that way the plug is exactly where we want it. They do all the hard stuff as far as figuring out what size wire, um, what size breaker they need, and that way everything is good to go. You can tell the homeowner loves water. He's got a fountain here, but then he's also got another fountain right here. And everything is being run off of an extension cord. So one of the pet peeves that the homeowner didn't like is he doesn't like all the extension cords all over the place. It's not good on pumps to be running your pump off an extension cord. You get voltage drops. So we're going to provide an outlet right here, or actually Tony will. He's going to do four outlets there so he can plug in not only for his um, water feature here, but for the pump for our project maybe a future transformer so that's three right there and then who knows down the line maybe he'll want to do an auto dosing system maybe he'll want to do some other type of water feature you just never know so this is our destination stone that's going to go in through this area we're going to provide um, a one and done stone we like to call them a one big flat flat um, heavy flagstone and then maybe do another one here so they can walk from the patio onto um, flagstone right to the destination stone Grayson will have a great time being able to just walk over here and sit down put his feet in the water feed the koi and the homeowner's job is to keep that skimmer empty and make sure that you know the basket's clear so as a homeowner you know i i have flagstone leading to my skimmer so that way you know i'm out with my stocking feet i'm not walking across wet grass first thing in the morning i'm not walking in mud or dirt or anything like that so why not provide the same thing for our customers All right, so we're back up here in Gross Hill, Michigan. Brian's in the pond and he's rocking away. We're gonna try to uh, get this one done today. So get this thing filled up with water. We're gonna take our time. We're gonna make sure that all these rocks are sturdy. Let me show you a couple things that we, how we do as pond builders. We set our boulders away from the excavated wall, backfill with gravel all the way up. That way we don't need to have an upper shelf we want to again we want to always have as much room as possible for the fish so we've got a lily shelf over here next to that we've got our fish cave you can see along here as we come up we always backfill with gravel 
so that way once you get to the top layer there's still water behind the gravel take a little bit of the gravel out put an aquatic plant in there and boom you don't need a shell for that so Brian has already selected a couple rocks and he's camouflaging the skimmer there and I think I'm gonna take a break from filming right now and help him out All right, so the guys finished up the job yesterday. I wanted to come back up here so that way I can show you what the final outcome of this project was. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn this camera around, show you what this looks like. So we've got a 10 foot wide pond by 15 foot long, two foot deep, cascading streams with three drops. There's lights on every drop, LEDs. We've got a six watt light down here shining across the pond fish cave over here if you can remember now it's still a little dirty and it'll clear up in the next couple days so we're gonna get a net on this pond before we leave make sure you check out that video for our netting and how we net ponds so let's ask the homeowners what they think about how this project came out all right Dennis and Anna this is your first pond you guys are seeing it what do you think amazing way exceeded my expectations might as well. Dan and his team are fantastic. They're visionaries. We had looked to do this for years and years. Uh, we're thinking about doing it ourselves, but no way we could have done anything uh, this unbelievable. It's just absolutely gorgeous, and we are excited beyond belief. They've done a fantastic job, and everything that we could have imagined and more. Awesome. That's what we strive for on every project. Um, and you know we're here for you anytime you guys have any questions so we can help you guys out. So with that being said, um, we're on to the next project. Thanks for watching. Any comments, leave them below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and you'll catch all of our projects. Thanks a lot.